much left. And uh, what is the position? People are very curious to know <laughs> what is the position of Ram Temple. <laughs> You see, uh, obviously everyone wants to know when the temple would be completed. And it is important because let us say if we had gone, go back to four to five years back. At that point, the believers, the devotees who are all over India, all over the world, they somehow had not thought that Ram temple in Ayodhya at the place where it is said that the Ram appeared or was born, they had not thought that it will be a reality. So it is, it goes to the credit of the entire system, particularly judiciary and the political process that an amicable settlement based on judicial pronouncement was achieved in November of 2019. Now people are clearly wanting to know when would the temple be completed. Their dream has come true. The temple is a reality. Now the temple will be completed in two parts. The first part, what we call phase one, will be completed by December 2023. So you rightly said, it is just a matter of 90 days by which the temple first part should be completed. What will be that first part? The first part will be the ground floor of the temple, which is in about 2.6 acre of land. The ground floor has got five mandap, starting with sanctum sanctorum, where the deity would be installed. And then we have mandap, guru mandap, prasna mandap, nirsa mandap, rang mandap, like that. That will be completed. There are 160 pillars at the ground floor. Each pillar has got 25 iconographical work, carved work of different, different forms based on Nagar Shali. That work is going on. Our expectation is that about 100 pillars would also be completed with iconography. Each pillar has got 25 such pictures. So all artwork will be completed. The work on the lower plinth, which tells Ram Katha, and that is based on carving on the stone, and it is taken from Balmik Ramayana, the Ram Katha taken from Balmik Ramayana, which mural runs on 785 running feet. About 50% of that will be completed. Then there is a outer boundary, what is called Parkota, or inner Parikrama mark. That is 790 meters. Part of that will be completed. So. This work will be completed in phase one along with other infrastructures like pilgrimage facilitation center, places for frisking, places for scanning, places where the devotee would keep his luggage in case he comes with the luggage, then other substations, etc. That will be completed in phase one. So I have given a very long answer to your very short question. How many seconds at a time? Sir, you uh, started the whole process. You are overseeing the project from right from the beginning. How challenging it was, and can you give us some aspect or some glimpse or some kind of a outlook of the technology used in this? How much it will be a mix of technology 
and faith and everything like that. Well, you see, the entire construction is a technology. The faith is expectation. So let me start with faith. All those who are associated with Ram, with Ayodhya, with the temple, with the features of ancient temple in India, the expectation is that it must have a life of thousand years. Like all other temples, it is not a surprise. In India you have many temples who have 800 years, 1000 years, 1200 years history. So it is only natural that the people expect that this temple will have. Now the first challenge, you are asking about the challenge. The first challenge was, there is no written engineering detail of how these temples were constructed. So we had to evolve the engineering detail, the design and the drawing, the mix of material to be used on the process of knowledge which today exists. Where does it exist? So we identified that IITs, five IITs were chosen to become the advisor for the construction. Then there was Central Building Research Institute, Rurki, which was also selected to be part of the advisory group. They decided the engineering details, how it will be done. And then talking of the challenges, fortunately there has never been any occasion when any difference of opinion became a bottleneck. Never. Ultimately everyone agreed. Of course, as chairman my job was to take the engineers along, take the IITs along, take the sentiments of sadhus and saints along, they must not get hurt, take the sentiments of Ayudhya, because Ayudhya uh, people have a sense of pride that they are living in a city which belongs to Raja Dashra. So all this into consideration, uh, the work was challenging, there were opinion and views, but there was always the most amicable settlement. Specifically speaking, the challenges came at the stage of foundation, what foundation it should have. The challenges came when it was a selection of soil, because the entire soil was dug out and removed from there, from 2.5 acres of land. And you know how deep it was? 15 meters. 15 meters deep soil was taken out. If you then, you had come there in Ayodhya, you would have seen the heaps of mountain because that was just removed and kept outside. A new soil was brought and that soil called engineered soil that was filled. Why engineered soil? Because that was as per the recommendation of IIT Chennai. What would be the mix of such a soil? Soil we should have a quality of converting itself like a stone in 28 days. So every time a layer of soil was put, it was kept for 28 days and then it was tested to see the strength that it has become a stone. Then the second layer, 47 layers have been put to reach the 15 meters. So that was the first challenge. The second challenge, I won't go in detail, is was on raft, what will be the engineering detail of raft because it was very necessary that there should be no cracks in raft. And in raft it is necessary because the crack comes on the basis of certain temperature. So we had to ensure that the temperature is maintained. And then the third plinth. Likewise there were challenges one after the other, but I think it has been very divine blessing. And ultimately it is that blessing which has carried us up to this time and we do have faith that very soon temple will be reality in December 2023 and a final temple of both the ground floor, the first floor and the second floor will be complete by December 2024. Sir, how? Quickly, 
इसमें सरकार का कोई रोल नहीं है मतलब सरकार मतलब प्रधानमंत्री का डायरेक्शन जरूर होता है लेकिन उसमें कोई रोल नहीं होगा डायरेक्टली नहीं तो कैसे मतलब कितना पैसा और कितना रिसोर्सेस कैसे जुटाई गई और कितना तकरीबन इसमें पैसा लगा और किस तरह से इसको बनाया गया बिना किसी सपोर्ट के तो ये थोड़ा सा बताया ये एक बहुत ही एक तरीके से संकेत करता है कि किस प्रकार श्रद्धालुओं का इस मंदिर के प्रति आशा और विश्वास था हमारे ट्रस्ट ने श्री चंपत राय जी जो जनरल सेक्रेटरी हैं उन्होंने अन्य संस्थाओं से जिससे वो संबंध रहे हैं और आज भी हैं वो उन सब की सहायता ली और यह प्रयास किया कि देश के कम से कम चार लाख गांव में एक रसीद लेकर के कार्यकर्ता जाएगा सभी श्रद्धालुओं से मिलेगा और उनका चंदा एकत्रित करेगा और जमा करेगा इस प्रकार की व्यवस्था से ऐसे भी लोग हैं जिन्होंने दस करोड़ भी दिया है ऐसे भी लोग हैं जिन्होंने पचास करोड़ दिया है लेकिन वो गिनती के हैं जो आम लोग जिन्होंने दिया वो चार लाख से अधिक व्यक्ति हैं जिन्होंने की योगदान किया आपको यह भी जानकर संतोष होगा कि जो भी पैसा एकत्रित किया गया शत प्रतिशत उसका ऑडिट किया गया है और ऑडिट करने के बाद आज भी वो सारी रसीदें रखी हुई हैं कि यदि इनकम टैक्स चाहे तो उसकी जांच कर सकता है इस माध्यम से लगभग पैंतीस सौ करोड़ रुपए एकत्रित हुए जो ट्रस्ट के पास हैं और ट्रस्ट ने इस टेंपल के लिए इंडोमेंट के रूप में उसको रखा है जहां तक निर्माण पर व्यय होने का प्रश्न है मेरा अनुमान है क्योंकि अंतिम अनुमान इसलिए हम नहीं दे सकते क्योंकि चीजें जुड़ रही हैं 